Hey guys, Nebraska Anglers here with uh, Tackle Warehouse unboxing on Christmas Day. Hope you guys are having having a happy holidays. Uh, I guess we'll get right on into it because we got some stuff to go over. Uh, first, I already unboxed it because I was that excited about it. Um, it's the Skeet Reese uh, short mag crankbait rod. It's six feet six inches. It's uh, kind of a medium action on it but it's a very nice looking rod uh, medium fast is the action on it so I'm excited to use this I've always been a fan of these rods and just now finally got one it's made by Mick Wright and McGill uh, I guess we're gonna get into the lures now got my box right here and we'll see what's inside First off, we got the Zoom Trick Worm in the Scuppernog color. Uh, I've always loved Scuppernog. I've been trying to find it in like a U-tail color for Zoom and I can never get my hands on it. Kind of like an Earthworm color. Very nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna, this is going to be a killer in the spring, so I'm really excited to get on them with this. Um, Next up, we got two Dirty Jigs by Dirty Jigs Tackle. Um, the first one we got is Alabama Bream, which I'm personally going to already confess is my favorite jig that, out of my entire arsenal, and I have quite a few jigs. Um, if you look at it, it's got the green weed guard, which I'm actually happy about. It's not very thick at all. It's got a nice sharp hook on there. Uh... I'm liking the uh, skirt on it. It's very thick. It's kind of like a PB&J color, but like lightened down. The football head, it's got the uh, it's a small orange. I thought it was going to be a little bit oranger, but I'm okay with that. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited. This is the uh, half ounce in the football jig, so there's that. Up next, this one I'm actually pretty excited for. It's a nice looking crawfish color. And I've, I've never really seen a jig this color before. It's uh, called the Dirt Nap, and I believe this is in the half ounce as well. Nope, three eighths. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a bowl head, if you will. Kind of like a dark with a light bottom. Uh, It's got some flakes in it, but once again, this one's got the black weed guard, but these two, I believe, are going to do some serious damage. Uh, starting to get into a lot of flipping and pitching so we'll see how good these uh, go home for me uh... next we got the... oh there we go we have the uh... live target in the green brown color and it's the five ounce five eight ounce uh... i'm a huge fan of frogs I always have and live target they always seem to always amaze me on their craftsmanship and detail this one looks extremely like a bullfrog. You can see the legs on the bottom. The uh, oh, I actually kind of like that. The uh, skirt for the legs is green and the top has got that bullfrog, that really green head. Um, probably have to cut the skirt just a little bit just so that it makes the uh, action walk a little bit better but that's the uh, Copper's Live Target Frog. Next, okay, here we go. The Berkeley Havoc, which, if you guys have seen my videos, I'm always having Berkeley Havoc in my uh, new lures. But uh, this is the Sick Fish, which I already have a Sick Fish. But this is the uh, Green Penny color, and this color, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, I don't know why, it just kind of enticed me the first time I seen it, and. I kind of liked it. It's kind of got the dark under jaw, really white belly with a dark body and then kind of like the fade. But the one thing bad about these, as you guys know, is it comes in the two pack. But 
I like Berkeley Havoc, they're cheap and they work, so I will continue to buy them until they start to fail me. This one is a lure that I've heard absolutely amazing reviews on. It's top 10 lure on almost every angler's list. The Jean LaRue Biffle Bug in the natural craw color. Now I'm not going to take it out because it's kind of greasy in there, but uh, as you can see, it's a very nice color. This will do amazing in the rocks, and that's where I intend to use it. I plan on getting the uh, Biffle Hardhead so that it's a free hook so that the hardhead can move like that over the rock. Um, next, I'm not a really familiar person with uh, Norman lures, but we got the uh, Norman Thin N in the Bull Bream color. And I'm uh, pretty excited to use this lure. Uh, it looks very nice. Kind of help out in kind of the uh, darker water because it's more of a neon color, but if it has to be used in clear water, it's going to work because it's got the uh, little spot, the ear for the sunfish, and it's kind of a realistic color, just a little bit brighter, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, next, we have the uh, Double A-T's, Lunker Choice, Rag to Riches, uh, Shad Tails. Um, they're biodegradable, and this color is the uh, Rag to Riches. And I'm actually really impressed with these. I was going to use these for something that's in the box right here. They're it says they're tournament proven. This is it comes in a four pack and it doesn't say the size. I believe it's four inches, but that's a really nice orange belly, and you're going to see exactly why right now. My last thing in the box is the Peppers Custom Bait Commando Buzz Bait in the half ounce in the gilly color and it already pre-came with its own uh, swim bait tail but I saw that thing getting beat up so here's what their tail looks like and then I'll pull out that uh, rag to riches the one that I kinda thought would be better I mean as you can see there's not really much of a difference besides this one's a lot bigger so otherwise it's not really much of a difference besides size but uh... I'll show you uh... this buzz bait here um... it comes with the trailer or you can put on a feather hook for the trailer which I don't really see a point in doing it I might even put it on one of my bluegill colored crankbaits oh now that's something I've never seen before Okay, well, first of all, it's got the patent gold blade, and these things move. I barely touch this, and it moves amazingly. Like, here, I'll let you see. Barely touch it. This is the one thing I have never seen on any buzz bait I've gotten before. It's kind of just like that hard head that I was telling you about with the uh, biffle bug. It's a uh, free moving treble hook. That's very sweet. And I'm actually really impressed with that and quite satisfied that they did that. I'm going to stick this thing on here real quick and see what it's like with the uh, trailer. And I think I'm going to leave this one hook exposed but just laying on the back and this is what the uh, buzz bait looks like. I'm very impressed with this. Uh, there's not a single complaint on this and I'm very happy with my uh, box so stay tuned.